Ray Wheatley from Fight News. I'm here with the WBO, my flyweight champion, Louisa Horton. How are you, Louisa? Hey, how are you going? I'm good, thanks. Pretty excited today. Yeah, it's all Louisa, happening yeah. in the back. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, well, you've, uh, when did you win that title? That's almost uh, four months ago. Uh, yeah, I won the WBO Live Flyweight in August last year. Um, against Tanaka? Yes, in Japan. It was a really good fight. I'm um, super excited. So you weren't expecting to win up there, but you won a, a solid points decision, well, right? I was expecting to win, but I don't think they were. So nah. Yeah, no, it was a good fight. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Now, when did you actually... Uh, you, you you had kickboxing fights, didn't you, before you started in boxing? Yeah, so I had a couple of kickboxing fights, and you know, I, broke, I broke a bit of my foot. And my trainer at the time had said that he'd always put me into boxing as well because I think he felt that my hands were probably my strongest asset. Right. Um, yeah, so then that came the crossover when I was sitting with no foot. I was still able to use my hands and keep my fitness up with swimming and things like that. So, so what year did you start as a professional boxer? 2014. Okay. And I didn't take like, long, is it? Yeah, no, and I started boxing in the later part of um, 2013, so yeah. I really haven't been boxing all that long. Now, you've had trouble getting fights? Yes, it, it, yeah, it's definitely been challenging. Um, you know, a few fights, a couple of opportunities had fallen through, and, you know, I also got the um, opportunity to become the 105 mandatory for the WBO, so. So you want to fight for that title? Yeah, so we relinquished the uh, 108 so I could become mandatory because that, you know, that's my weight. So. Okay, who holds that title at the moment? Um, Kayoka Abada from okay. Japan. She just recently won the world title, so we're looking at making that fight happen. Okay. Um, you know, if I get the right opportunities and the right promoter behind me, you know, I really believe that I can become the 105 undisputed champion yeah. later in the, in the future. So you'd like to unify the titles if you could? Eventually, like, yeah, yes, of course. IDF, yeah, WBA, definitely. You know, um, that's def definitely something that I'd love to do. But that takes time to build up to that position. Um, so the focus would be to get that world title back and continue to grow and defend it. And with the right opportunities and people behind me, we can make those things happen. Now, how do promoters contact you if, um, if they're interested in promoting it? Yeah, you can contact me through Facebook, and then. You know, we can talk from there. And you are trained by the former, uh, trained and managed by the former world light middleweight, world rated light middleweight, Mark Jansen. Yeah, Mark, Mark Jansen. Jansen. Um, How long have you been with Mark? Only for not so long. It's only been about a year now. Well, but you know, just for the, the last, fight, right? yeah, just for the last preparation of the last fight. And you know, I've come to. Um, grow quite closely to Mark, he's, he's a great guy, really great guy, he's got a good heart, he's amazing in the gym, um, I actually think that he's one of... He's world class as a trainer. Well. Yeah, definitely, he's one of the best care secrets in Australia and he can turn fighters around in a week and the things that he's teaching are just, you know, they're really, really good basics and fundamentals that can really turn you into a beast. Of course. Now you're here in Brisbane for the... Uh... Manny Pacquiao, Jeff Horn fight? Yeah. Uh, Manny Pacquiao is your idol, right? Yes, he is. Yeah, of you course got to he meet is. Him? Um, yeah, I got to meet him. Yep. That's great. Isn't it? Now, he was actually, uh, your mother was born in the same city, right? Uh, pretty close. My mother was born in Digos, um, and it's not far from from where Manny Pacquiao is from. Okay. Okay, well, thanks very much for your time, Louisa, and, uh, and the best of luck with the future. I hope promoters do contact you because you're good value in the ring. Thank you. Best of luck.